Welcome to What's in the Pot. I'm your host, Sean Grande, and today we are making Instant Pot Pasta. It's What's in the Pot. Welcome to What's in the Pot. I'm your host, Sean Grande. Now for Instant Pot Pasta, first thing you want to do is put your Instant Pot on the saute setting. I'm going to start, start with some oil. Now I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use olive oil. You can use any kind of oil you like. Now I'm going to use one clove of garlic. So if you have fresh garlic, chop it up. But um, I'm using the minced garlic I got here. It's a lot easier to use and you know, I'm going through a lot of garlic. So we're gonna start sauteing that garlic up. I'm gonna add some green peppers and yellow peppers, onions and mushrooms. Now we're gonna saute this and like I said, it's on the saute mode um, on the Instant Pot. If it's too high, you can switch the level from medium to low and we're gonna let that saute up for a couple minutes and get all the flavors and aromatics going. I'm gonna add one more ingredient to saute. I'm gonna add some olives, it's about maybe five or six olives chopped up finely, and we're gonna keep on sauteing that. The olives brings out a nice flavor into the pasta. Now we're gonna start adding our ingredients to finish the sauce. The veggies have been sauteing for about 10 minutes. I have crushed red tomatoes, and I'm adding about two and a half cups. If you like it a little bit more chunky, a little bit more thick, uh, go ahead and add more uh, tomato sauce if you like. Now I'm gonna give this a stir and let this saute and let all the flavors kind of intermingle with each other. So I'm gonna let my sauce simmer for a bit, but I'm gonna add one cup of water and let that simmer maybe about five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our spices. So my first spice I'm gonna use is I'm gonna add some oregano leaves. If you have fresh oregano or any of these spices I'm using right now, um, go ahead and use the fresh ones. This is what I had in, on hand. Um, I'm also adding some parsley and about a teaspoon of oregano, a little bit of parsley, and a little shake of this Italian seasoning, which has some of these same seasonings in it. I just like using it. I'm adding about a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of sea salt. Now remember salt is for taste, so if you don't want too much salt, go ahead and use less. I'm adding about a teaspoon and a half of this Badia Complete seasoning. Now we're gonna give this a good mix and let all those spices intermingle in the sauce and this is what's going to build the flavor for when we add the pasta because all this flavor is going to soak into the pasta when we cook it with the instant pot so it's been simmering for about maybe five ten minutes and i still have the instant pot on the medium saute setting you can see there everything is cooked perfectly now we just got to add our pasta one more thing i like to add if the sauce is too acidic is you just want to add, or if it's too tart, just add a couple of uh, sprinkles of sugar. It kind of kills some of that acidity and that tartness. Now I'm going to add this 12 ounce box of pasta. I'm using a uh, bow tie pasta. You can use any kind of pasta you like. Um, just kind of go with the same uh, measurings. You can also use elbows. You can use uh, spaghetti. But what we want to do is we want to add that pasta in there and we just want to give it a good turn and get all the flavors and get every piece of pasta coated with that sauce. After we've given that pasta a good stir, we're gonna add a little bit of water just to cover the pasta because we don't want the pasta to undercook and we don't want it to overcook. So just right to the top of the pasta so you can still see the pasta but not fill it all the way up. So you wanna set your Instant Pot to manual and then you're gonna cook that on manual for seven minutes. After seven minutes, after the timer goes off, you'll pressure release, and this is what you'll have. A beautiful Instant Pot pasta. You just wanna give it a good mix. You can see everything is perfectly cooked. The pasta is al dente and absolutely delicious. All the flavors from the sauce and the spices have soaked in. The last thing I like to do right before serving is I wanna add about two tablespoons of Parmesan. If you have fresh Parmesan, again, go ahead and use that. But just add this parmesan give it a good mix it adds a nice flavor to the pasta and that's it that's our instant pot pasta you can see it's perfectly cooked it's absolutely delicious and remember if you do make any of our recipes don't forget to tag us on social media i'll make sure i repost it and share that at what's in d-e-p-o-t on instagram facebook and twitter and just to remind you if you first time to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that little bell like us Tell your friends, tell your family members. It's What's in the Pot. I'm your host, Sean Grande. Till next time, stay safe and stay blessed. Peace.